franktalks.com. Dating Dilemmas tonight on the program. Frank Kermit in uh, studio. Just a little last little bit of time. Uh, Frank, you write for the Suburban Online. So what is this week's uh, article all about? Well, the current article at uh, thesuburban.com. When it's all about attention, how people's attention-seeking behaviors can sometimes cost them the opportunities to be in a relationship what do and you mean? land them single. Well, let's look at a few examples here. Example number one, you're going on a date with somebody and you're so wrapped up with trying to get attention from the entire room, you end up neglecting your date. Probably not the kind of behavior yeah, that's going to make somebody no. want to date you again. Well, that's a, I've heard people say that. Like, you know what? I was on a date with this guy and all he kept doing was looking around the room mm-hmm. at other, at all the pretty girls. Like mm-hmm. not focusing on me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's a killer right there. Absolutely. Okay. So Absolutely. The, that's the kind of thing you're talking about. And sometimes people will take photos of themselves trying to get attention, put them, putting them up on social media. You mean but, selfies? Don't we all do that? <laughs> Well, there are selfies that you take for fun and you say, look, hey, this is where we're at. This is what we're doing. And then there are selfies that people take knowing that, oh, boy, I'm going to get a lot of attention for this. It may not even be a conscious thing, but they're just trying to get attention. But those same type of selfies, because they're just focusing on getting the maximum attention, might even turn off some people who are interested in you, haven't made a move yet. And then they see selfie after selfie and they're thinking, eh, I don't know if this is a type of person. No, they'd be thinking, wow, that person is really into themselves. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they're desperate for attention and that's how they're coming across. And you have to remember that your means of getting attention are not necessarily going to equal that, oh, I'm going to attract the large number of people. And then from the large number of people, there's somebody bound to like me. You're better off, especially if you really want a legitimate connection. Okay. If you want a legitimate connection, you're better off figuring out exactly what you want and then targeting people who are interested in the same things you are. If you know that you want to move to Florida one day, Mm -hmm. you're better off mentioning that to people and saying, I want to have the type of future with somebody where we can spend six months out of the year in Florida. And you would be amazed how when two people see that they're looking in the same direction and they want to plan the same kind of future, sparks can fly there. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, those conversations uh, not always had on the f- off the first, you know, off the bat, but still important. No, but it's still it's very important. It's the same thing like conversation topics on a date. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be so general because you want everybody to like you, and to the point where you're not really sharing your true self. You're just trying to appease Impress everybody else. Or- it's like somebody says, oh, I love to hike. And, and they go, oh, yeah, me too. And, and they, they never hike. hike. They've never hiked a day in their life. Yeah. Oh, I love to ski. Yeah, me too. <laughs> that doesn't work. No, it doesn't. That'll no. land you alone. Yeah. Frank, we'll catch up with you again next month. Thanks for being here. Always um, a pleasure. If you need to uh, reach Frank, go to franktalks.com. Franktalks.com. I believe you just released it. Your latest book. Yeah, my book on speed dating. There you go. If the you Frank want to know, we, I, I meant, I, I knew we had to talk about that. Anyway, next time we'll talk about um, right. a little bit more about speed dating. Um, once again, franktalks.com. Thank you all for uh, your questions and for listening in. Thanks to Dave Simon in Master Control. News is coming up next, followed by Joey Elias and the Comedy Show. Have a wonderful rest of the evening, and please remember, life is short, so do take the time to smell the flowers and indulge your passions. Listen to Passion with Dr. Lori Batito live weeknights 10 to 11 on CJAD and CJAD.com. Need help with love, sex, dating, and relationships. Visit Frank Dog.